Anytime I need an extra set of hands or a temporary repair, oftentimes I'm reaching for a cable tie or some duct tape. It's hard to believe it's been over a year since the last video on zip ties. About a year ago, I purchased the cable ties that we'll be testing today, and some of those cable ties have been experiencing UV exposure for right at a year. So let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. We'll first test the loop tensile strength of cable ties that have not yet experienced UV exposure. We'll then compare the loop tensile strength of stainless steel cable ties. Then we'll see if UV exposure hurts the strength of cable ties. We'll replace cylinder head bolts with JB Weld and some zip ties to see if the engine will run. Finally, we'll find out if the strongest cable tie is strong enough to lift the back of a pickup truck off the ground. At only $2.99 for 100 pieces or three cents each is this Storehouse brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. This is the least expensive brand we'll be testing. This brand performed extremely well a year ago, and since then, some of the zip ties have been experiencing UV exposure. Rated for 46 pounds working load. Made in China. The Storehouse brand averaged 116 pounds of loop tensile strength a year ago. We'll be testing the UV exposed Storehouse cable ties later in the video. At 8 cents each, the ACT brand is more than twice as expensive as a Storehouse Harbor Freight brand. The tensile strength is 50 pounds. Minimum temperature minus 40, maximum temperature 185. The ACT brand is made in USA. I cut away part of the zip tie head to get a closer look at the locking mechanism. The ACT uses a triple lock system. The first sample did well at 84 pounds before the cable tie locking mechanism let go. The second sample did slightly better at 86 pounds. The third sample was the lowest yet of all the three at nearly 82 pounds. So very consistent results for the ACT brand and all three experiencing the same type of failure with the locking mechanism losing grip. So the Storehouse brand from Harbor Freight tested a year ago did better than the ACT brand. At a price of only 9 cents each, the Strong Ties brand is very reasonably priced. When tested a year ago, the Strong Ties brand did an amazing job with a loop tensile strength of 159 pounds, which is better than the Harbor Freight Storehouse brand. We'll be testing a UV exposed Strong Ties later in the video. At 9 cents each, the third least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Gardner Bender. Patented double lock design. Made in China. The temperature rating is from 32 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. The tensile strength is 75 pounds. The Gardner Bender brand is off to a good start at 92 pounds, which is above its 75 pound rating. The second sample was the same as the first at 92 pounds. The third sample was down slightly at 90 pounds. So three out of three times, the locking mechanism held up fine, but the cable broke where it passes through the locking mechanism. At a price of 11 cents each is this Gardner Bender cable tie. This is for both indoor and outdoor use. They claim their double lock grip is 33% stronger, UV resistant. The loop tensile strength is 75 pounds. The temperature range is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185. Made in China. The Gardner Bender Black is doing better than the Gardner Bender White on the first sample at 96 pounds. It was up slightly at 97 on the second. It was down slightly to 94 on the third. So just like the Gardner Bender White, the locking mechanism held up well and the main body of the cable tie broke three out of three times. So the Gardner Bender Black cable ties are stronger than the Gardner Bender White, but not as strong as the Strong Ties or the Harbor Freight Storehouse. At a price of 19 cents each is this commercial electric brand. The white zip ties are not UV rated. The loop tensile strength is 75 pounds. Operating temperature is minus 40 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Made in China. The commercial electric uses a triple locking mechanism. The commercial electric locking mechanism let go at 89 pounds. The second sample was slightly lower at 79 pounds. The third sample was up slightly to 85. The locking mechanism is definitely the weak point on the commercial electric cable ties and it's now tied for the last position with ACT white. Strong Ties holds on to the lead. Also at a price of 19 cents each are the black commercial electric cable ties. UV resistant. The loop tensile strength is 75 pounds. Operating temperature minus 40 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Made in China. Commercial Electric Black also uses a triple locking mechanism. The first sample of the Commercial Electric Black did better than the Commercial Electric White at 98 pounds. The second sample was also at 98 pounds. The third was down slightly to 96. Just like the Commercial Electric White, the Commercial Electric Black's locking mechanism was also the failure point three out of three times. However, it did much better averaging 97 pounds and moving into the third position. Costing 27 cents each is this Panduit brand. Rounded edges, curved tip speeds installation, made in Singapore. The loop tensile strength is 50 pounds. Operating temperature at minus 60 degrees to 115 degrees Celsius. Just like most of the other brands, the Panduit uses a triple locking mechanism. 
Panduit is only rated for 50 pounds and did well at 95 on the first. It was down slightly to 93 on the second. It was down slightly again to 87 on the third. Three out of three times the Panduit locking mechanism was the failure point. However, it far exceeded its 50 pound loop tensile strength rating with an average of 92 pounds moving into the fifth position. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Tie Wrap and cost 88 cents each. Tie Wrap is manufactured by Thomas and Betts. It claims to be a high performance cable tie. Grip of steel, UV resistant, weather resistant. The loop tensile strength is 120 pounds. Made in USA. Unlike the other brands, the Tie Wrap brand is the only brand that uses a single metal locking mechanism. The first sample began letting go at nearly 135 pounds. Unlike any of the other brands which completely or mostly let loose, the Tie Wrap still provided around 100 pounds of tensile strength even after it originally slipped. The second one did a little bit better at 139 pounds and still provided around 100 pounds of loop tensile strength after it began slipping. The third was down slightly to 137. So Strong Ties finishes in the top position at 159 pounds, Tie Wrap second at 137, the Harbor Freight Storehouse brand third at 116. The least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by HYCC and cost only 11 cents each. It's made of 304 stainless. Maximum loop strength, 198 pounds. It's designed to handle heat up to 538 degrees Celsius. Corrosion resistant, we're gonna test that. The HYCC brand is made in China. The HYCC stainless did terrific at 346 pounds, which is more than twice as much as the strongest nylon cable tie. The second sample was down slightly to 338 pounds. The third was up slightly to 347. Three out of three times, the locking mechanism on the HYCC was the failure point. So the 11 cent per unit HYCC stainless produced 344 pounds of wrap tensile strength, which is more than twice as much as the 9 cent nylon Strong Ties brand. At a price of 28 cents each, costing more than twice as much as the HYCC brand, is this storehouse brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. It has a working load of 115 pounds. High strength, non-flammable, non-corrosive 304 stainless, made in China. Harbor Freight Storehouse did almost as well as the HYCC on the first sample at 312 pounds. It actually did better than HYCC on the second sample at 370. It was down quite a bit to 281 on the third, showing quite a bit of variation between samples. Three out of three times, the locking mechanism on the stainless steel storehouse brand was the failure point. The Harbor Freight Storehouse brand, with a rating of 115 pounds, did terrific at 321 pounds on average, but that wasn't good enough to beat the HYCC brand. The most expensive stainless steel cable tie we'll be testing is made by Gardner Bender and costs 36 cents each. Ultimate corrosion resistance, self-locking mechanism, maximum temperature 572 degrees Fahrenheit. The loop tensile strength is 100 pounds. Made in China. Gardner Bender did the best yet on a first sample at 393 pounds. It did almost as well on the second test sample at 388. It was down a little to 346 on the third. Three out of three times, the locking mechanism was the cause of failure on the Gardner Bender stainless steel ties. So even though the Gardner Bender has a lowest weight rating of only 100 pounds, it did by far the best at 376 pounds, HYCC second at 344, and Storehouse third at 321. Up next, we'll test the cable ties that experienced a moderate amount of UV exposure for right at one year. UV exposure typically makes cable ties more brittle. Testing the Harbor Freight Storehouse brand first. Harbor Freight Storehouse brand is showing quite a bit more strength after UV exposure at 134 pounds. The second sample did even better at 140. The third sample was down slightly to 132. So the Storehouse brand actually became 16% stronger after UV exposure. The ACT brand averaged 84 pounds before UV exposure and the first test sample went up quite a bit to 122 pounds. The second sample did slightly better at 124. The third sample was down slightly to 110. The UV exposed cable tie is on the left. It is definitely less elastic and it snapped instead of the locking mechanism slipping like the one on the right. Harbor Freight Storehouse brand remains in the lead. The Gardner Bender White averaged 91 pounds before UV exposure. The first sample was up quite a bit to 111 pounds. The second sample was extremely brittle and the locking mechanism failed at only 10 pounds. The third sample also failed at only 21 pounds. So the Gardner Bender White, which is not designed for UV exposure, was extremely brittle, experiencing a broken locking mechanism at a very low weight on two of three samples. At 47 pounds of tensile strength, it's nowhere close to its 75 pound rating. Strong Ties averaged 159 pounds before UV exposure and was up quite a bit to 233 on the first sample. It did nearly as well on the second sample at 226. 
The third sample was the best yet at 236 pounds. So Strong Ties moved into the lead with an average of 232 pounds, which is a 46% increase in strength after a year of UV exposure. Gardner Bender Black averaged 96 pounds before UV exposure. The first sample was at 106 pounds. The second sample was even higher at 110. The third was the highest yet at 114. Gardner Bender Black, which is designed for UV exposure, did much better than Gardner Bender White, averaging 110 pounds of loop tensile strength, which is well above its 75 pound rating. Commercial Electric White averaged 84 pounds before UV exposure. The first sample that experienced UV exposure broke at 128 pounds. The second sample did even better at 136. The third broke at 135 pounds. Commercial Electric White, which is not designed for UV exposure, held up much better than the Gardner Bender White, averaging 133 pounds. Commercial Electric Black averaged 97 pounds before experiencing UV exposure. The first sample broke at 139 pounds. The second was even higher at 145. The third was down slightly to 140. Commercial Electric Black moved ahead of Harbor Freight Storehouse brand with an average loop tensile strength of 141 pounds. Panduit averaged 92 pounds before UV exposure. The first sample broke at 130 pounds. The second sample did slightly better at 135. The third was up slightly again to 136. So Panduit averaged 134 pounds of loop tensile strength up from 92 pounds before UV exposure. Tyrap averaged 137 pounds before UV exposure. The first sample began to slip at 175 pounds, but the tie wrap did not break and continued to provide around 100 pounds of loop tensile strength. The second sample did even better at 182 pounds. The third sample was nearly the same at 181. While most of the other brands were snapping, the tie wrap continued to gradually lose grip instead of breaking with an average of 179 pounds of loop tensile strength. Most of the cable ties that experienced low UV exposure failed because of the locking mechanism moving out of position. After UV exposure, the plastic actually hardened, making the locking mechanism a little more rigid and stronger up to a certain point. After excessive UV exposure, as in the case of the Gardner Bender White cable ties, the plastic became too brittle and cracked and crumbled under relatively light pressure. I've applied the oxidizer three times over the last 24 hours, and it looks like there's a very small amount of corrosion beginning on the HYCC, but again, this is a very powerful oxidizer. The Storehouse brand seems to have done even better without any visible oxidation. Just like the Harbor Freight Storehouse brand, there isn't any visible oxidation beginning on the Gardner Bender brand. In the next test, we'll see if JB Weld and some zip ties can be used in place of cylinder head bolts. After removing the cylinder head, I used brake parts cleaner to clean the cylinder head and the engine block. After applying a thin layer of JB Weld to the head, I gently tightened the head bolts. It's been right at 24 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the cylinder head bolts and install the zip ties. The JB Well is cured and I have about a dozen zip ties around the cylinder head. So let's see if this engine is going to run. Oh, nice! Apparently the combustion process lifted the cylinder head off the engine block and therefore I'm not getting compression. I'm going to go ahead and remove these cable ties and take a look inside. Unfortunately, the combustion process blew the cylinder head off the block, and the JB Weld is a very good product, but that's a lot to ask for an epoxy. The zip ties just didn't have enough strength to hold the cylinder head on tight. Up next, let's see if just one stainless steel cable tie, which I'll wrap around the chain and the shackle three times, can support the weight of the pickup truck. Okay, just one Gardner Bender brand with three wraps. We'll see what it could do. It's hard to believe that one cable tie is strong enough to withstand the weight of a small pickup truck. I'm definitely gonna to have to keep some of those in my toolbox in the future. Regarding the best brands that we tested, I really like the price of Harbor Freight Storehouse brand. At three cents each, it's hard to beat the price and it performs fairly well. I also really like tie wrap a lot. Unlike the other brands, it didn't fail, it actually slowly released. Finally, I really like the HYCC stainless steel ties for the price, they are hard to beat. All the videos on this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.